Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to chat about my what I have been warming items. Uh, this is basically everything that I have been working on but have not yet finished and I just want to give you guys kind of my thoughts on them. So as always, we're going to start with candles. I didn't really set these very close to me. <laughs> um, okay, so the first candle that I lit up over the past week or two was Goose Creek Black Cat and I do believe this is a very like Halloween-esque candle um, but I know people have said that it's similar to Marshmallow Fireside so I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I also have my Marshmallow Fireside Wallflower going so I was like oh maybe it'll go together well and honestly I don't think it's as Marshmallow Fireside as I originally thought. It's like marshmallow fireside with a like an amber or like a perfuminess something of that nature it's it's sweet in a way whereas like marshmallow fireside you get that like the like embers burning <laughs> type of vibe i don't really get that with this i get like the other side of marshmallow fireside so i get like a perfuminess in a way um not exactly sure when I would burn this. I think I need to do it a couple more times just to like really get a feel for it. Um, I did it in like the larger bathroom and so it kind of like came out into the hallway which was fine. That's where I have the marshmallow fireside wallflower plugged in. Um, but it was still like kind of not off but just kind of like not what I was expecting. So I'm not positive. I don't necessarily see it as like a winter scent um, or necessarily like October when you know Halloween would be so I'll have to test that a bit more but I just wanted to burn it to get like some initial thoughts um, another Goose Creek candle I wanted to burn for initial thoughts was sweet banana bread this is not necessarily in season by any means um, but I was kind of feeling the other day like I don't want to do holiday anymore I don't want to do fall like I want to do something spring so I pulled this out and was like we'll give it a test this smells exactly like it smells on cold when burning to me. Um, really smells like sweet banana bread. Like you really get that banana. Um, Corey happened to be making a smoothie with bananas the day that I burned this. And he had those bananas out and like this was going. And I was like, this genuinely smells like sweet banana bread. Like it smells like this picture looks. So... It threw pretty good it wasn't like overly strong which is okay because I feel like this could be cloying if it was overly strong um it was just like nice and light but it did travel quite a ways um I typically put things on my kitchen table because we don't have air vents near the kitchen table so I find things don't like soot more than they necessarily need to because there's not like a constant air circulation um but the, it there's some like in a vicinity so I feel like the scent still travels if that makes sense um, the last candle that I tested out was Mary cookie I heard good and bad things <laughs> um, I debated chopping this right off the bat but it has such a pretty luminary packaging that I was just like I can't I can't do it it's so the luminary effect is the whole reason why I bought this candle so I was like I can't just chop it so I decided to give it um a little burn got a little bit of a mushroomy wicks going but um I don't when they get to this point what do you guys do like you can't trim them down can you because then they're almost too short but do you like cut the sides off so they're not as mushroomy? Somebody, I need advice. What do you do when the wicks are at this level? Cause they're, I, I feel like I don't want to light it back up without doing anything to the wicks. What would you recommend? Um, the candle did really well though. I know some people were like, it smells like pukey kind of, I don't know. Or some people were like, it has no scent at all or it smells off. Um, I thought it smelled good. At first I was like, this is not doing anything. It's not traveling. And then I went upstairs. And then when I came back downstairs, it was like wafting up the stairs. I was like, okay, that's that. I was like, it's probably going to be light. It's a vanilla based candle. 
but it actually did better than I thought and I'm really happy that I am trying to burn it because of the luminary effect like I said so I don't know I thought it did okay I could see this not burning all the way down though like I could see this going going south I don't know I think it smells really good so we will see but I'm glad I gave this a test I'm trying to test out all the candles that I've gotten over the past couple months instead of just letting them sit in my closet or in my little deal here um okay let's talk about not sensey things so um first I want to talk about well we have more Goose Creek let's maybe talk about that so we have some brown sugar churros I went through this halfway this is good this is really good um I'm glad I picked up some of these wax melts because I've really been enjoying them uh these wax melts just don't last they're like really heavy hitters and then a few hours later you're like where'd the scent go um I do find these need to be in a little bit of a higher wattage warmer um like they won't work in my low wattage element warmers that are from Walmart <laughs> those can only tolerate like Walmart wax barely and Scentsy wax obviously because it it um, melts at such a low temp um so they are not they don't do well with goose creek so i've been using those these in my higher wattage warmer um but i've really been enjoying them the bummer is just that they don't last so i don't know that i'll be purchasing more goose creek wax melts um we'll see i guess but i, I don't envision it i just i've really been enjoying uh i've really been enjoying them they're very fragrant and they're very true to what they say like this truly smells like churros. It smells a bit different when it's going, but it's like very, that sugary bakery churro is good. Kind of makes you hungry, you know. Um, next we had snow covered apple. Also went this through this halfway. This smells exactly like winter candy apple. I had this going when the wallflower was winter candy apple in the hallway and it smelled so good. My mom was even over. It was like around Christmas, she was like, what is that? And I was like, smells like winter candy apple, doesn't it? <laughs> um, then that last Goose Creek, uh, one I tried was sugared donut. This one's really good. This one's so strong. This, this lasted more actually than the other few that I tried. Um, like it went a little bit longer. This is one of the ones that I tried actually in that Walmart lower wattage warmer. Maybe that's why it lasted longer. Um, but it like, it doesn't fully melt. It like leaves a weird film on top. Like I, I won't do that again, but it performed really well in it. Um, it was so strong. It was like wafting into other rooms. It was really good. This is like bakery, bakery, bakery. Yeah. I don't think I'd want a candle in any of these from Goose Creek because they're almost the bakery point. Well, not the winter candy apple one necessarily. Um, but they're to the bakery point where it's like, if they go south with the kerosene smell, it could get bad. So I am enjoying that I got these in wax melts because I make, I feel like it's making them very much more authentic than if I would have had the candles. And it's obviously way easier to try these than to get a whole candle to burn. Um, the only non-sensey non goose creek <laughs> item i have is the a to z marshmallow fireside so i gave this another test i was like this is the final the final hurrah that you're gonna get i put it in an empty candle jar um on a hot plate warmer because i was like i can do it like put it in the jar I don't care about the jar I can do the freezer method pop it out I'm um, in the end and like not have to worry about the grossness and if it's all a mess I'll throw away the candle jar um it actually did good like it performed that way so I think I'm going to be able to use my A to Z candle melts that way it's kind of a bummer because it's like a little bit of extra work but if that's how I have to use them because I have six boxes worth um that's okay so I think I have three little tarts left in here and I'm excited because I really love this scent but I just it was not performing the way I wanted it to initially so that's how I'm going to use up these um, and the rest of my A to Z tarts wax melts whatever you want to call them okay let's talk Scentsy so 
Um, trying to gather all my thoughts here. I went through another couple cube of Berry Blessed. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it could be because of the season. I don't have it in my club or anything, which is fine. I have four more cubes. I think, I think I'll be fine. I just, I don't want to put things in my club that I don't really love. And because my club's a little bit out of control. So this got the boot. Um, baked apple pie. I went through some cubes of this. I was like, not into this at first and then people were like no it's like not as cinnamon heavy as it seems like it would be uh, so i tried i like bought a clam to try no no i don't like this and it's not even that it's that cinnamon heavy it's just weird it's just not good to me like i think i want this to be more vanilla and it's like a lot of something that I don't want. And I don't know if it's the apple because I've come to realize some of Scentsy's apple scents I don't agree with. But I, I don't think that's what it is, but I just, I can't put my finger on it. So I'll probably sample the rest of this out maybe. It's, it's gonna have to get set to the side. Worst case, I'll use it in like the overnight warmers. It wasn't the worst thing, but it was giving me the vibes that like, it was going and I was like, I don't want to sit in this room because I don't like it. Um, went through a couple more cubes of Monstropolis. This is in my club. This is good. These bars are so sweaty. I know a lot of others have, have been saying that. Um, I'm on the train too. My bars are freaking sweaty. Like some of them, I'll show you guys later um, in another video. They are like gathering oil sweaty. <laughs> It's bad. Um, this is so, it like kind of reminds me a little bit of strawberry and rock melon, which I no longer have in my club, long story. Um, but it's the vibes and it's so good. I love it and the wax color makes it even better. Um, went through some snowberry. These are white cubes, which makes it so hard in your warmer because it's clear. This came in the December whiff box. Initially, upon smelling, I was like, you know what? Um, that's fruit and a tree note. And there's really no tree note. And once I got it going in the warmers, I loved it. I was like, I need more of this. But it it's retiring for the spring summer since it's obviously a very like winter-esque scent. I debated putting it in my club. I don't, I think I took it out. I think I had it in there because I was panicking and adding things to my club. I think I took it out because I was like, you know what? Would I be upset if it doesn't come back and I don't get any more bars? Maybe, but will I move on? Yes. It's good, but it's not like that good whereas like if I don't get any more bars of this I'll be really upset this has a chance to come back so like I'm not as upset I might not be saying that later but I just I have come to the conclusion like they're gonna put out more Christmas-esque scents when it's Christmas so like I'll probably find something else I like I probably won't be that upset um went through some NHL fresh ice this is going in the bathroom. Corey was like, oh my gosh, stop warming so much of that. We're going to run out of it. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> I don't even know how this got started. Like, I thought when I warmed this with Arctic Kiss, we had a mutual agreement that we liked Arctic Kiss more than fresh ice. So I took fresh ice out of my club because I was like, I don't have enough room for both. And I like Arctic Kiss more. And I thought we both agreed that we liked Arctic Kiss more. Um, when it was going in the master bathroom, he was basically like, oh my gosh, why are you going through so much of that? Like, are we, and I was like, well, if you want to use it like in your room or whatever, let me know because this is the last, this is all we have. And he was like, basically like, you don't have, you're not going to get it in your club, but he called it bring back my bar but I was like he doesn't really know <laughs> he doesn't know the lingo I was like no I don't have it in my club and then I was like I can still add it to my club like it's still eligible but you're gonna have to pay for it because like 
I can't afford to pay for another bar. I don't have room for another bar in my club, okay? Especially one I don't care about. So then he basically like didn't bring, say anything more about it. So we'll see what happens. I don't know, but I was basically like, wait, I thought we agreed. <laughs> We want Arctic Kiss. It's very similar to Arctic Kiss, but it has a different men's cologne type note in it. It's very nice, and I really enjoy it in like the bathroom. When I did it in the bedroom, it just kind of like in my office, which is a bedroom, whatever. Um, it gave me kind of just like a weird vibe. So I prefer it in the bathroom. It has that men's cologne type of note with a very like coolness like Arctic Kiss, but I prefer Arctic Kiss. Um, I went through officially the top row of my brick in Crimson Berry Christmas. Absolutely love this. I have it going today. Have it going today upstairs, the room I'm in right now. Um, this one is definitely one that I go nose blind too fast. Like I'm like, didn't I just put that in? Why can't I smell? And then if I like leave the room and come back, it's fine. Um, like I don't think it doesn't last long I think that I just get really nose blind to it fast so something I need to be aware of I feel like it's one that I can't warm too much like back to back to back otherwise it yeah I just like get nose blind to it I feel like it's such a good one to mix though and even though it's like not even close to snowberry I feel okay like that I have this and not snowberry so justifications Last two are caramely scents. So the first one is Stroopwaffle Delight, which I went through five cubes of. This is so good. This is retiring for the spring summer catalog or discontinuing or retiring. I don't know. It's being discontinued before the spring summer catalog comes out. Um, it's so good. It's so good. I am really on the edge, you guys, you know, with caramely scents, like some of them I cannot do. So I was really nervous about these. This one is good and it is strong and I put it in my warmers and instantly there was fragrance. I was like, holy cow, I was not expecting that. This is going in my club because I definitely want to have more of this. If it's a caramel that I can tolerate, I am in for it. And then also I have a salted caramel toffee. This is also going today. Downstairs, this is good. This is a different, they're not the same. They're both caramel, but they're not the same. This has that like butterscotch note in it, but it's also that salted caramel, caramel, I never say caramel, salted caramel where it's like, you can smell that it's salted, when it's going in the warmers, like it smells different. And I don't know if it's because I did them like back to back that I'm getting the difference. Um, but I kind of wanted to see like, I want to do them so close together. Like, are they the same or do I want both of them? And I want both of them. I may not keep one of them. Like I may get a couple of both and then decide if I want one or the other. But for right now, my club's crying, but I'm going to keep both. I really enjoyed this one. Um, honestly, here's the deal. Like I was nervous to get this in the brick because caramel makes me nervous. Um, but now I'm to the point where I'm like, I think if I would have gotten the brick, I wouldn't have put this in my club because I would have felt okay with the brick. Um, so I think that's how I'm feeling about it. Whereas like this, I'm like, I have the brick, but I want to get more in my club because I'm like scared to death of not having it. This is so dramatic, but that's kind of the difference between the two at the current time. So that's everything. Um, I like doing these videos just to like share with you guys what my thoughts are on things before I've actually emptied them. So I hope you guys enjoy them too. And I like talking um, initially about like the candles I burn just because I'm not going to be doing this as an empties anytime soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Let me know what you guys are working on down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.